Hi and welcome to the Windows 8 videos. In this video I wanted to talk about zip files and get you familiar with what zip files are which are also known as compressed files. As you use your computer more and more you will inevitably at some point come face to face with a zip file or a compressed file. Someone will either send one to you or you will download one from the internet and you might also like to create one for yourself. The reason zip files exist is to save space or improve efficiency. So an example of that would be if you were to go into the shop and buy yourself a packet of potato chips, you get a packet that's twice the size of the content it contains. So it's half air and half potato chips. Now let's imagine you get charged for the size of the package and not the weight. You'll want to squash that package down so it's cheaper, right? There's no point paying for air. Plus you get the benefit of adding more packets of chips to your bag as they take up less space. Well, think of your files and folders as packets of potato chips. When you zip or compress, which is the same thing, you are shrink wrapping and forcing the empty space from the item. You are creating a new smaller package, so to speak. So within Windows, you have the ability to compress files or folders. I won't bore you with the technical mumbo jumbo, but all you need to know is that compression can apply to any file or folder. However, some files compress better than other files and the reason for that is some files are compressed automatically when they're made. An example of that would be mp3 files which are music files and jpeg files or jpg files which are picture files. They don't typically see large reductions in size from zipping but if you are sending five of these files over an email sometimes it's better to zip them all together into one package and send that because it's neater. But that's up to you. Now what you're looking at here test.zip that is a zip file if you don't have your file extensions enabled so what I mean is you just see the name and you don't see .zip you can hold your mouse over the file here and you'll see that it's a compressed file or you can make sure that you have your type enabled so all you need to do is right click on this bar across here any one of these columns will do and make sure type is enabled and then you will see that it's a compressed or a zipped folder so if we open it up by double clicking on the zip file and you'll see the contents of the file. This is the wrapper and that is the file itself. So from here what you can do is extract this file. Now depending on the file you can sometimes just play the file or do whatever with the file directly from here and Windows knows how to handle it. But if you just take this file, drag and drop it to somewhere like your desktop or wherever, what it will do is automatically extract that file from the zip and the file will be a normal file. You can do it manually by selecting extract all but it's just generally easier to right click and copy or just dump the file in another location. So that's how we open and extract or get the contents of the zip file out. Now to create a zip file we just go to the file or folder we would like to compress or zip, make sure it's ticked or highlighted, right click on it and then go to send to and then choose compress folder and you'll see that's created notes.zip in the same location as the notes folder. We can see here that the size of this is 535 kilobytes and the size of this compressed file is 111 kilobytes. So we've compressed that folder down to almost 20% of the original size. So we can see that we got really good compression from this particular folder. So hopefully now you're familiar with zip files, what you would use them for and what to do with them if you are presented with one when you download or if one turns up on your email.